Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Brothers and sisters, it's your big brother, King Kong. Live and direct, Cleveland, Ohio. Day two of filming the new movie, which is going to be focused on black love. We filmed all day yesterday. We filmed all day yesterday. We filmed all day yesterday. I thought a three hour lecture and three hours of book signing was something. I thought a three hour lecture and a three hour book signing was something. I thought a three hour lecture and a three hour book signing was something. I'm just taking my daily vitamins. I'm just taking my daily vitamins. Gotta make sure the body right for another day of filming. Gotta make sure the body right for another day of filming. Hold on, my Facebook acting up. Facebook acting up. Should be okay now. Okay. Brothers and sisters, I wanted to go live. I was going to save this for Dr. Umar TV. And I'm going to go in more in-depthly on Dr. Umar TV. So if you're not subscribed to www. D R U M A R. If you're not subscribed to www. D R U M A R, make sure you go and subscribe to Dr. Umar TV. But I need to give a shout out. First of all, let me say good Garvey Day. Good Garvey Day. Let me thank the Most High for bringing me back to consciousness on this earth plane where I can impact the destiny of African people. I wanna say thank you to the Most High for blessing me with so much love from the African family that we were able to raise and purchase a four building, two school, two gym campus. Let me say thank you to the Most High for allowing me to be born in such a challenging era for African people. We would not be born at this time if the Most High didn't have confidence in us to succeed. We would have never been born at this time if the Most High did not have confidence in us to succeed. Every obstacle placed in our pathway as African men and women, every obstacle placed in our pathway as African men and women, I said, Every obstacle placed in our way as African men and women is put there so you can overcome it. And in the overcoming of the challenge, in the overcoming of the obstacle, in the overcoming of the barrier, you get a little bit closer to achieving God consciousness. See, without the overcoming of the obstacle, you can never truly know your divine purpose. Without the overcoming of the obstacle, you could never truly know your divine purpose. See, in order for the caterpillar to fly, in order for the caterpillar to become a butterfly, it has to be cocooned. It gets trapped. It gets trapped in darkness. And if it doesn't break through the cocoon, if the caterpillar never transforms itself and break free of the cocoon, it could never know how high it could fly. It could never know how high it can fly. One of the things that I have learned so much, and I'm going to get to my Nigerian Africans in a minute. I'm going to get to my Nigerian Africans in a minute. I'm going to get to my Nigerian Africans in a minute because I just got invited to Nigeria. 
I'm just got invited. I'm coming back to Nigeria for the first time since 2008. 2008. I'm coming back to Nigeria for the first time since 2008. But before I get to Nigeria, I want to say that one of the things that I've really appreciated about studying and practicing IFA, the Yoruba system of Nigeria, or should I say the spiritual system of the Yoruba peoples of Nigeria, is in Ifa you're taught that good and bad are not opposites. They actually collaborate in the unfolding of your destiny. That everything good also accompanies its opposite and everything bad also accompanies its opposite. So we as African people have to stop feeling like we're cursed when we're met with obstacles. Stop feeling like you're cursed when you're met with obstacles. Got to get my body ready. I'm the star of the movie, brothers and sisters. Who coming out to see the Dr. Umar movie? Who coming out to see the Dr. Umar love movie? We had a love scene in there. We filmed a love scene yesterday, brothers and sisters. It was a little uncomfortable. We didn't do too much. It was a little uncomfortable. Me and the queen got through it. We filmed the love scene. I never thought I would be that nervous in the face of five, five, thick in the thighs, curvaceous, natural hair, chocolate goddess. I never thought I'd be that nervous. But when them cameras came on and I had to do my fake love making, when the cameras came on and I had to do my fake love making, when the cameras came on and I had to do my love making, But the point that I'm making, the point that I'm making, these are not pills. These are herbs, herbs, not pills. I'm taking herbs, family, herbs. Herbs. that garlic, that vitamin C, pop a few black seeds, but we have to understand that the negativity is just as essential to destiny as the positivity. The negativity is just as essential to destiny as the positivity. The negativity is just as essential to destiny as positivity. We have a purpose. You have a purpose. Find your purpose. Give your life to your purpose. But in order for you to maximize your purpose, in order for you to live your purpose, in order for you to realize your purpose, You're going to have to leave behind you a lot of spiritual vampires. I'm going to say it again. One, what I've noticed in my 25 years of psychology, therapy, mental health. Shout out to Cleveland. I am in your city filming a brand new movie. My first movie that I've ever acted in in my life. Filming my first movie that I've ever acted in in my life right here in Cleveland. The movie should be ready by Kwanzaa. 
The movie should be ready by Kwanzaa. My Kwanzaa tour this year will be to travel and do a screening. I'm calling it the Black Love Movie. I cannot release the name. I'm calling it the Black Love Movie. I'm shooting a film, family. King Kong Consciousness is starring in his first film ever. We're shooting in Cleveland. All day yesterday, all day today, all day tomorrow. Mike got to do. It's been fun, but it's a lot of work. It's been fun, and it's been a lot of work. And today, today, I'm going to meet my side woman, the woman on the side. I can't give you the whole story, Africans. I can't give you the whole story, Africans. I can't give you the whole story, Africans. But you know, alpha male, you meet another queen. You feel me? So today I meet the other queen. Okay. Today I meet the other queen. Okay. So, you know, I told you the two queens can't be the same complexion, right? The main, the wife, the wife is a chocolate goddess in the side piece. She's a butterscotch queen. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, brothers and sisters, you're going to have to leave. You're going to have to leave a lot of spiritual. There will be a snow bunny. I can't give you the whole story. There will be a snow bunny. I can't give you the whole story. There will be a snow bunny, but I can't give you the whole story. But what I'm saying, stay focused, Germaniacs. Stay focused, Germaniacs. Stay focused, Germaniacs. You're going to have to leave some spiritual vampires behind you towards the fulfilling of your destiny. And a lot of us, a lot of us, a lot of you are going to fail to fulfill your destiny because you can't let go of people in your life who are spiritual hindrances. You can't let go of some of the demons in your life who are spiritual blockers. You can't let go some of the human beings you surrounded yourself with who are limiting your blessings and draining your energy and sabotaging your goals and limiting the growth and manifestation of your God self. But you can't let them go. But you can't let them go. One of the most important things we must do as Africans people on a spiritual journey One of the most important things we must do as African people on a spiritual journey. One of the most important things that we must do as African people on a spiritual journey is constantly clean out the clutter from your human relationships. I said you must constantly Clean out the clutter. You must constantly clean out the clutter.
of your human relationships. Some of y'all got 30 main people in your life. Nothing wrong with 30. But if you got 30 main people in your life and 25 are spiritual vampires. If you got 15 main people in your life. And 10 of them are spiritual vampires. Black woman, if you open in your legs, black African queen, if you open in your legs, black African queen, if you are opening your legs in revealing your honeycomb hideout. You're providing the diamonds of your womb. You're giving to that man the sweet nectar of your apricots. And if he is spiritually diseased, see, we talk about sexually transmitted diseases, but what about spiritually transmitted diseases? We talk about sexually transmitted diseases, but what about spiritually transmitted diseases? I've got to go back to Dr. Umar TV and do some seminars on spiritually transmitted diseases. I have to go over to Dr. Umar TV. Make sure you register. Make sure you register www.drumar.tv. It's only $9.99 a month. All my Germaniacs, it's only $9.99 a month. But black woman, if that man has a spiritually transmittable disease, are you having sex with a man who has a spiritually transmittable disease? Black man. Alpha male community, alpha male community, silverback African gorilla men. If you are constantly draining your ashe in the waters of a toxic sister, if you are constantly putting your divine seed in toxic waters of a spiritually transmittable disease infested woman. Because every time we lay down, the woman is a magnet. The womb of a woman is a magnet. It draws out the divine testosterone and ashe of the black man's seed. And if you constantly go and swimming in toxic waters, if you constantly go and swimming in a woman with toxic Vagina, sexually, tra spiritually transmitted disease. Spiritually transmitted disease. How are you going to achieve your destiny? You got to have a certain amount of ashe. You got to have a certain amount of ashe. You got to have a certain amount of ashe to get up in the morning and take a bath. You got to have a certain amount of ashe to get up in the morning and brush your teeth. You got to have a certain amount of ashe to go to work, a certain amount of ashe to deal with racism, a certain amount of ashe to be tolerant of your family members who are haters, some of them. You got to have a certain amount of ashe to deal with the people in your life. But if you having sex with a toxic energy, if you are laying down with someone infected with a spiritually transmittable disease, if you are laying down with someone who is infected with a spiritually transmitted disease, that means you are participating in your own spiritual suicide. You are participating in your own spiritual suicide. Here's the question. Here's the question. Here's the question. How can you claim to be divine? How can you claim to be divine? How can you claim to be divine and you sleeping 
knowingly with a demon. How can you claim to be on a divine quest, knowingly sacrificing your ashe to a demon because you don't have the discipline to cut off the sex, which is the portal through which the spiritually transmitted disease is sabotaging your life. Don't claim to be divine. Don't claim to be on a divine journey and you giving your ashe to a demon. That can't work. You can't serve two masters. And brothers, we've been there. We all fall short. Men, we've all fallen short. We've all dealt with people who we knew was no good. We've all dealt with people who we knew were no good. Got to get ready for filming. Filming resumes in 45 minutes. Filming resumes in 45 minutes. Everybody about to come out to the premiere. We're going to have a red carpet here in Cleveland. All my Ohio Africans, Western Pennsylvania Africans, Eastern West Virginia Africans, my Illinois Africans, Pittsburgh Africans. But let me stay focused. Let me stay focused. I'm going to call you after this live, Queen. Oh, okay. All right. So, where was I? I know. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. We got a lot of bills for the festival. We making the FDMG festival bigger and better. I want to see every last one of you at 601 East 17th Street in Wilmington, Delaware. I want to see every last one of you at 601 East 17th Street in Wilmington, Delaware. I want to see every last one of you at 601 East East 17th Street in Wilmington, Delaware on Saturday, September the 10th. Saturday, September the 10th. Saturday, September the 10th for the second annual FDMG Festival. Food, games, vendors, performers, giveaways, gift bags, fellowship, networking. It's going to be powerful, brothers and sisters. We got a massage therapist who's going to be out there. We got a massage therapist who's going to be out there. We got a Michael Jackson rendition. If you've never seen Michael Jackson live, you get to see Michael Jackson live. If you've never seen the GOAT, if you've never seen the GOAT, Black August baby, Michael Jackson, the greatest entertainer, highest selling artist of all time. We have a brother who looks just like Mike, sings just like Mike, dance just like Mike. So make sure you at Ifa Tunde Avenue, Dr. Papa Boulevard, Prince of Pan-Africanism Parkway. Make sure you register at FDMGFestival.com, FDMGFestival.com. FDMGFestival.com. You can register on site or you can register online. You can register at the gate or you can register online. But only if you register online. Only if you register online do you get free food and gifts. If you register at the gate, you don't get tickets to the freebies. If you're coming, you can register at the date, but you at the gate, but you don't get no tickets for the freebies. Only those who register online will get the free stuff. And everybody must show ID to get into the gate of Wakanda. If you do not show your ID, you do not enter Wakanda. If you don't have a state issued driver's or non-driver's license, you may not enter Wakanda. The festival is from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Let me get back on topic. Make sure the producer hasn't texted me. Hold on. So, brothers and sisters. This is the reason why solitude is so important. This is one of the reasons why solitude is so important. You have to be able to spend time with yourself 
in your reflective darkness. See, I like for it to be dark. Some people like to be in the light. I like to be in the dark. I like total darkness. I like to reflect in total darkness. I might light a candle and I try to get as quiet as possible. And I ask the ancestors to communicate. I ask my egg bay Orun to communicate. I ask Ogun, my father Orisha, to communicate. Yemonja, my mother Orisha, to communicate. I call on the Iyamis, the Loas, the Abusums, the Netters, my spirit guides, of course, my own Ori, okay? My own consciousness to show me where I'm going wrong. Show me where I need to go right. Point me to my destiny. Get me back on track. Point me to my destiny. Get me back on track. With no ashe, you cannot achieve your spiritual destiny. I don't care how many ebol. I don't care how many prayers, fasting, sacrifices. It don't matter. You must have ashe. Stop letting people drain you of your spiritual power. This is why arguments are a trap. Arguments are a trap. See, in the black consciousness community where I'm number one in the world. See, in the black consciousness community where I'm number one in the world. See, in the black consciousness community where I'm number one on the planet Earth. People are always trying to lay spiritual traps for me. Dr. Umar, come do this podcast. So they want me on the podcast so they can start hating on FDMG and get me off my focus. Why don't you debate this brother? Why don't you debate this brother? We want to see you debate the aboriginals, debate the indigenous, debate the pretendian community. So they can drain me of my energy. Debating. There's nothing good coming from a spiritual exchange with low vibrational people. I want you to hear me. Stop arguing with people. Stop arguing with people. Just cut them off. Stop arguing with people. Just cut them off. Nothing good is going to come from a spiritual exchange with low vibrational people. Stop arguing with people. I have no need to prove my point to a low vibrational spiritual vampire. I have no desire to sacrifice any of my energy to a low vibrational spiritual demon. Water seeks the lowest place. Water seeks the lowest place. Water seeks the lowest place. If your spirituality is here and you arguing with somebody whose spirituality is down here. And when I say spirituality, I'm not talking religious beliefs. I'm not talking Jesus, Muhammad. You understand me? I'm not even talking Amin Ra or Chukwu or Olodumari or Yame. No, I'm not talking names and belief. I'm talking divine connection. See, I don't have to be in any particular spiritual path to develop a divine connection with source. It's not about the rules and the laws and the customs. I'm talking pure connection of spirit between you and source. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking. See, let me share this with you. If you feel obligated to argue with a low vibrational demon. Yes, we have black demons. And if you feel compelled to argue with a black demon, that means you have some of that demonic ashe that still needs to be purged from your being. See, when you get to the point where you say, I'm just here to listen. I have nothing to offer. I'm just here to listen. I have nothing to offer. I'm just here to listen. I have nothing to 
I'm not committing none of my ashe to this dialogue, to this conversation, because this ain't nothing but a spiritual trap. What do jealous people do when somebody is jealous and envious of you, right? And y'all know I got a lot of those in the conscious community, right? When somebody is jealous and envious, the first thing they try to do is imbalance you emotionally. They want to do something to upset you. The first thing a jealous demon, envious demon wants to do is upset you so they can imbalance you. Because if you are imbalanced, if you are imbalanced through the imbalance, the spiritual vampire can hijack your higher self. In the imbalance, the spiritual vampire can hijack your higher self. So the first thing a jealous Negro pen let me say something to imbalance him. This is why you have to be emotionally solid, emotionally sound. Some people would say emotionally free. Every negative emotion is a demon. And guess what? A lot of your emotions are not even coming from you. People can send you negative emotions. They can transmute to you a neck and you like, wait a minute, I'm having a good day. Why am I feeling like this? I'm having a good day. Why am I feeling? Because somebody's sending you emotional darts. I'm going to send him a dart of depression. I'm going to send her a dart of insecurity. I'm going to send him a dart of low self-esteem, a dart of unhappiness. Be careful who you be around. This is why a lot of people don't want to shake hands no more. This is why a lot of people don't want to hug no more. This is why a lot of people don't want you in their house. This is why. This is why. This is why you got to take your baths, brothers and sisters. You got to wear your protective amulets. If you got some protection, wear it. Your stones, your amethyst, your crystals, your moonstone, because... There's a spiritual war right along the political. You got to fight the spiritual and the political. They're two sides of the same coin. And the problem with black folks, we want to get free with the materialist mindset. There's no ashe in that. You don't listen. You want to free yourself of white oppression, but you don't want to free yourself. Of white values. You want to free yourself. Of white oppression. But you don't want to free yourself. Of white materials. Marianne what's good. What time do I need to be ready for pickup? Um, pick up, um, I'm picking up 9, nine o'clock. 9.30. 9.30. I'll see you at 9.30. Now, that first scene, what am I wearing? Is that a suit, dashiki, button up? That's not your scene. Not, you just okay, that's not my scene. I got you. 930. Your, your, the scene you're doing, um, bring some short and a shirt. We're gonna, I'm going to recreate like a rocky scene where you're running, you're inspired, and you stop. You make it. All right, we're going to talk about that. All right, 930. 930. Bye. Why are you rushing me off? Because I'm live right now. Okay, a little mini production meeting, a little mini production meeting, a little mini production meeting. So anyway, brothers and sisters, where was I? I had an ADHD moment. 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 So anyway, so anyway, brothers and sisters. So anyway, where was I? See, this is how. Anyway. 
I didn't lost where I was. I got caught up into the movie script. I didn't lost where I was. I got caught up into the movie script. I got caught up into the movie script one time. But anyway, brothers and sisters, hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. 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 Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Protect yourself spiritually. Protect yourself. Pray. You must worship the most high every day. You must worship the most high every day. And we are being hit with so many spiritual bombshells. We are being hit with so many spiritual bombshells. You need to try to connect with the most high three times a day. We need to be, when you get a free minute, you should not be on social network. You should be connecting with source right here. The third eye. When you close your eyes, you put all your focus at the third eye. You better arm yourself. But like I said, we want to be free of white oppression, but we don't want to be free of white materialism. We want to be free of white oppression, but we don't want to be free of white values. We want to be free of white oppression, but we don't want to be free of the conspicuous consumption of European culture. And that is a contradiction. And that is a contradiction. And that is a contradiction. You don't want to be white on the outside, but you want to stay white on the inside. So you want God to aid you in a pseudo revolution. You want the ancestors to come and help us in a fake, fraudulent, counterfeit revolution where you don't really want to be free of his materialism. You don't want to be free of his decadent spirituality. You don't want to be free of his toxic family systems. You don't want that freedom. You just want to be free to buy more of his junk. You want to be free to marry more of his women. You want to be free to emulate the European even more than you already do. You will get no spiritual assistance for that. You will get no spiritual assistance for that. You will get no spiritual assistance for that. Peace and love, Sister Kita. Peace and love. That's Sister Kita with the Decorations Committee of the FDMG Festival. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we got to do the work. We got to do the work. We got to do the work. And your sexual organs, your sexual organs, your sexual organs must also be dedicated to the higher development of African people. I'm going to say it again. If your sex organs are only for pleasure, if your sex organs are only for pleasure, then your lower self is compromising your higher self. If your sexual organs are only for pleasure, your lower self is compromising your higher self. So you're telling me you've been fasting all week, Praying, meditating, studying, spiritually bathing, and then you go have sex with a spiritual vampire. You built up all this ashe. You are radiating power, divine grace, divine strength. And then you have a weak moment and your lower chakra takes over from your crown chakra. Your lower chakra takes over from your crown chakra and you just... Gave up all that spiritual energy to a demon. Good God Almighty. Without sexual discipline, there's no spiritual discipline. Without sexual discipline, there's no spiritual discipline. Without sexual discipline, there's no spiritual discipline. Without sexual discipline, there's no spiritual discipline.
the conscious will be scheduled as soon as the HVAC has been installed on the John Jacques Dessalines Nat Turner Gymnasium. The Conscious Singles Convention is going to take place in the John Jacques Dessalines Nat Turner Gymnasium as soon as the HVAC. We just contracted with the European company for HVAC installation. We just contracted with the European company for HVAC installation. We just contracted with the Euro the HVAC. We finally have a contract to have the HVAC installed, brothers and sisters. Three and a half years we've owned the school. Three and a half years we've owned the school. Three and a half years, February 7th, 2019, three and a half years, we've contracted with a white owned HVAC company. Both units are in storage. I showed you the picture of the school unit. I showed you the picture of the gym unit. I posted a picture of the school unit. I posted a picture of the gym unit. There's a chance that both units will be installed before the festival next Saturday. There's a chance that both units will be installed before the festival. Once the gym unit is installed, we can get the gym approved for usage. Once the gym unit is installed, we can get the gym approved for usage. Once the school unit is installed, we got to do some troubleshooting inside the school. We got to do some troubleshooting inside the school. But we on the other side of finishing, brothers and sisters. Once the HVACs are in. Once those HVACs are up and running, once those HVACs are up and running, we on the other side of finishing. Once them HVACs is in, I'm willing to almost, I ain't going to guarantee y'all because every time I do that, it never works out because it's all about divine timing. But I think we'll be having a grand opening in February. I'm thinking there will be a grand opening of the Marcus Garvey Elementary School in February if we get them HVACs in by the end of September. I think there will be a grand opening of the Marcus Garvey Elementary School of the FDMG Academy February of 2023. Yes. But for all my haters, you will not be allowed in that school. You will not be allowed on that campus. If you're coming to the festival, if you get caught with any hating or disrespecting of African people, you're being banned for life. If you sneak into my festival and you don't properly register, I don't care who you are. You will be banned for life. When you come to Wakanda, when you come to Wakanda, when you come to Wakanda, you better come with your African mind. I got to get ready to hop in the shower. Looking forward to meeting my other woman today on the set. Looking forward to seeing my wifey, my, my movie wifey, my Hollywood wifey. You know what I'm saying? Sister Queen, she's doing her thing. The Gap Tooth Diva. That's her name, y'all. My wife in the movie is the Gap Tooth Diva. Go ahead and look up the Gap Tooth Diva. She's the wife in the movie. And then I'm meeting the side woman today. King Kong Consciousness. Make sure you register. www. Sister Shannon, you should have drove up from Toledo. That's Sister Shannon, my Toledo hostess. Sister Shannon, you need to be at the museum. If you live in Cleveland... Today at 3.30 at the African American Museum in Cleveland, you are invited to be an attendee in the Dr. Umar movie lecture scene. We're filming a lecture scene today in Cleveland, Ohio. 3.30 if you want to be an extra in the audience. 3.30 if you want to be an extra in the audience. 3.30 if you want to be an extra in the audience today at the African American Museum in Cleveland for the lecture scene. We're filming the lecture scene live today at 3.30 African American Museum in Cleveland. 
When am I coming back to Philly, Gigi215? I'll be back home tomorrow, Sister Gigi215. I'll be back in Philadelphia tomorrow. It's time to get ready for the festival. We got 10 days. 10 days from, what's the day's date? Today, the 31st, the 30th? You will not be paid for being an extra in the lecture scene today, my brother. You will not be paid for being an extra in the lecture scene today, my brother. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Donate to the shockumentary, the shockumentary. If you live in Maryland and D.C. and you want to be interviewed, please text your name, city, and the word shockumentary to my phone. If you live in Maryland or D.C. and you have a testimonial for the war against black boys, grown black men. My adult black brothers, if you want to talk about what the schools did to you when you was a child, my mothers of black boys, if you want to talk about what the school did to your child, special education, medication, juvenile incarceration, white teacher racism, miseducation. If you live in Maryland or D.C. and you want to be interviewed for the shockumentary, text me your name, your city and the word shockumentary 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. You said you tired of donating to the school. You've been donating for three years. You tired of donating to the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. You've been donating for three years. How long you been donating to the Korean hair care industry? How long have you been donating to the Korean hair care industry? You've been donating to the Korean hair care industry since you was five years old, seven years old, 10 years old, 15 years old. How long you been donating to Nike and Air Jordan? How long you been donating to Gucci and Louis? How long you been donating to Mercedes Benz and BMW? How long you been donating to, to uh, Hennessy and uh, 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 Alizé and all them damn alcohols you be drinking? Don't talk to me that you tired of donating to a black institution that's going to save black children because the Korean hair care industry ain't saving black children. Louis Vuitton ain't saving Saving black children. Gucci ain't saving black children. Mercedes Benz, BMW, Alize, Hennessy, none of them are saving black children. So don't talk to me about you've been donating for three years to, to a school that's going to save our babies, but you've been donating billions, billions out the community. You've been hemorrhaging billions out the community. You ain't got nothing for it, and you ain't said a word. Shut your Negropian mouth. I said, shut your Negropian mouth. I said, shut your Negropian mouth. I want to call you the C word, but then Instagram going to put me back in jail. I want to call you the C word, but Instagram going to put me back in jail. I want to call you the C word, but Instagram going to put me back in jail. And I just got emancipated yesterday. I just got emancipated from Instagram yesterday. And I'm not going to let you get me put Back in Instagram jail, you spiritual vampire. See, everybody hating on FDMG donations is a spiritual vampire. You are a demon of the Negro aristocracy, a demon of the Negro elite. Brothers and sisters, I can't wait to start filming today. I get married. I can't give y'all the story. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. But I can't wait to see my movie wifey. In that beautiful African dress. Five, five, extra thick in the thighs. Brothers and sisters. It is consciousness over the cookies. It is politics over the punani. It is revolution over romance. And it is business before the bedroom. Donate to the school, donate to the shockumentary, register www.drumar.tv. I didn't talk about Nigeria. I'm going to do that on drumar.tv. I didn't talk about Nigeria. I'm going to do that on www.drumar.tv. Peace in Pan-Africanism.